a rotating sushi chain in Osaka. Customers who've arrived for lunch first use a touchscreen. Push two, two adults. Two adults and two children. After inputting the information, they go to their seats. This massive restaurant seats 200 people. Some of the sushi on the menu come around on the belt, while others can be ordered using the touch screen. In the back, they have a secret weapon to handle the non-stop orders. This is called the supply instruction system. It shows the amount of sushi that should be sent to customers in the next minute. We send out two plates at a time, and the yellow pattern allows us to forecast the optimum portion. The appetites of customers are categorized as big, regular, and small. They call it appetite power. The forecast is indicated in yellow, red, and white colors, which correspond to the type of topping and amount. Instructions are given by the minute. What's more, the information inputted by customers using the touchscreen, such as the number of the party, seat location, and time since taking their seats, is indicated by color. The red shows customers who've just taken their seats. They have a big appetite, so it instructs us to put the newly made sushi on these two lanes. The minute-by-minute -minute forecast is made possible by IC tags. Information from all our stores is stored in a cloud system, which allows us to collect data on what customers ate at a particular time. Sushi left circling on the belt are automatically removed after a certain time. The accuracy of the forecasts has a direct impact on the bottom line. They say this has helped to significantly reduce waste loss. Compared to when the store first opened, we've cut waste by 75 percent. On a recent weekend, an event was held in central Tokyo. People crowd into a booth. About 1,000 people are on site. All of them are users of Amazon's cloud service. At one session, we have two lectures by AWS Samurai from Okinawa and Kyushu. Lecturers dressed as Samurai. AWS Samurai are experts on the use of AWS. Four are nominated every year. Users nationwide meet at these annual events to exchange information on cloud strategies. A big draw this year is case studies from major firms. How many of you are involved in corporate systems? Thank you. EJOS is open only to those in charge of corporate systems. EJOS, a community of corporate users of the cloud system, has also been established. As there is no initial investment and fees are usage-based, much like utilities, registrations have increased sharply. In 2011, Amazon set up a data center in Tokyo and is aggressively promoting the service in Japan. Is it easy to use for restaurant chains? Restaurant chains typically have several thousand restaurants with tens of millions, hundreds of millions of customers. So a large volume and wide range of data can be collected and utilized. Skylark Group, which runs 3,000 casual dining restaurants such as Gusto and Jonathan, also began fully utilizing the system this February. 
The first 15 seconds after a customer enters the store is the moment of truth. Let's make sure to focus and be on time. What is the 15 seconds of truth they stress at every morning meeting? It's the top reply in our surveys, what we call the moment of truth. Customers will decide how they feel about a store in the first 15 seconds. Customers serviced in the first 15 seconds after arrival, even during peak hours, are said to be more likely to come back. This is where big data comes into play. This is the forecast for customer arrivals. We use this to adjust employee shifts when they start and finish work in 10-minute units. Until recently, shifts were adjusted in half-hour units. But by using big data, they've been able to set schedules in 10-minute blocks. It's completely different. We need to know how many people to have on staff at 11.40, 11.50, and at noon or else we'll fall behind. At Skylark headquarters, they are analyzing a coupon distribution scheme that was tested at some regional stores. We promoted avocado dishes this time. A new design was used to target women. We believe it attracted the homemakers we were aiming for. By using big data, market analysis that used to take several weeks is possible in less than an hour. The test results are immediately shared with stores nationwide. Sales and weather forecasts, as well as information on marketing campaigns are also included. While convenience stores have long used such systems, big data has made it possible to give restaurants individualized and detailed forecasts. How can businesses best utilize the treasure trove of big data? Figuring that out will be critical for restaurant chains across the country to survive in the fiercely competitive industry.